Good day, Trader Stacy Burke. Just a quick video on marking the high and low of the day. I keep getting a recurring question: uh, How do you how do you tell where the high and the low are? And the easiest way for you to do that, which I often I just mark off the highs and the lows, is to put a blank chart up there. Now I've left the previous day's highs and lows line on there, but as the day evolves, uh, if we change those levels and a new session is about to begin, well, I will remark that. But we have a high inside of the day on the British pound, which they set in Asia. That would be the initial range uh, heading into Europe. And, of course, we have the previous day's low, but as the day evolved, they made a new low. So, again, when the new session is about to open, I just mark off my highs and my lows. It's as simple as that. So if I'm inside, we could have lower highs inside obviously and again depending on how price behaves at these levels and the time of the day so they've come up here one two three on the british pound will blow this up and put a pin hammer and now in a smaller time frame we, we don't have numbers on here but this is a 30 3100 level so it's come up into the high of the day so you'll notice if i project this line across it's a peak formation uh, where they've possibly already locked in that high they've pinned up and then engulfed and come back down to the low of the day. So it's about when the new session is about to begin, where are my high and my low? Now they've pinned up into the high and on a shorter time frame they've reversed. So they don't need to take out the high, especially if price has given us a possible short at the high of the day for the move down. And again, uh, we're making new lows. They've broken the low of the day, new low, new low hit the stops, they're not triggering breakouts, that may just be a stop hunt, and then the move continued back down. But each day, I just mark off my high and my low. Now, I have numbers on my charts, uh, but the process is the same. If they pin through it like that, I, I don't change the low, because that has just been a stop hunt, possibly, and they're coming back up to the high of the day. If they violate that or break it and make a new low before a new session begins, well, then I'll readjust that, because... Obviously, there are going to be stops underneath. They may come through that, uh, hit stops, trigger breakouts, whatever they're going to do. Uh, but again, just so now as we come out of the inside pin hammer back up into the false break reversal, I will readjust that low of the day. We could see this market come back up and coil and roll over to retest that low. I have no idea, but I just readjust the high and the low. Uh, they may come back down into that low and go back up in the U.S. session. So as this session ends, will this low may stay intact. And we may have a low bear at the bottom of the range that can hold, or they may roll over. I'm going to put it on the inside bar as our possible low of the day. But that is my high of the day. That's my low of the day. And so when the session begins, if they trade up into it, major round numbers, double zeros, We've already had triggered shorts into the market. I would be looking to continue the existing broken down market, stop hunt high, to continue that short trade down. Now, uh, each day, I just remark off those levels. Canadian dollar goes up and puts a high in place, goes back, trades up into it. Again, this is before the Europe session begins. We have a low of the day which I would just leave because it's inside of the previous day's low they make a higher low and again obviously we're inside of the low so we're making higher lows inside of the low uh, readjusting my high of the day and Europe and London have opened up inside of the high and the low so I would leave that alone but each day if you're not sure uh, we'll look at an example this is a good example where we have a low of the day inside of higher lows and I will draw that line and leave it there to represent that we have higher lows inside of the low and again an example of where volume could be getting trapped and as we get these higher lows and consolidations inside of lows that's a great reference to understand if they break all this volume is caught up top but I just keep, I want to be outside of the consolidations. If you're, if you're trading inside of these tight little ranges in the gap times and whatnot, this is where you can get chopped up. So I wait for the market to establish a range, a high and a low. If we're inside of a previous U.S. session, I use the U most recent U.S. session high, most recent U.S. session low because it's inside of that consolidation. I want to see a break of that. 
a breakout pullback and then some kind of evidence of an indication of a, a trading direction or we just have a high and a low. So looking at the NASDAQ today we can see clearly we have our current low of the day that was in place right at the beginning of Asia. But we also recognize that we're inside of a US session closing high which to me is obvious that if they're going to go up in the gap right at the Europe open they're going to hit the stops on that whole entire range it's inside of the high so although Asia's made a high of the day we're inside of the high peak formation they came down and put a low in place inside of the low of yesterday this is an inside bar but we have our initial high of the day we have our low of the day they trade back into the low of the day and give us a little W right in the uh, gap time before going vertical hitting the stops there's our high of the day the current day obviously inside but I redraw the real high and low and then watch how price behaves but it's more about the timings when we get there and again you see right at the beginning of the session they go vertical hit the stops and then pull back inside on traders getting the higher level long stopped out putting in a higher low possibly or trapping volume up now higher or moving higher we might get three levels of rise I have no idea what will happen here they could break out and pull back and continue to trend in the US but that was my initial high low they went down and put a W in went back to the high of the day again traders uh, I just keep it simple uh, gold so we have our lower high rate uh, in the close of the US session obviously the opening of the day makes a high of the day but we're inside of a high peak formation so I expect that when they come up to that, if they do come up to that, that they're going to go right up to the high of that real high. And then we have our existing low inside of the low of the day, which when they went through that, they cleared out all of that and put in a new low of the day, then traded back down into it, higher lows. And I will just, something like this, I'll just leave that as my reference point. And then obviously maybe mark off the high bear, the low bear inside of that last low as a reference point. You can see that may be representative of locking in the low today. So don't know yet. They could roll this over later in the U.S., pull this back up and still roll over. Um, we have our high of the day. We have our high of the Asian, uh, beginning of the Asian day, but we're also inside a peak formation high. I'll draw the high bull in there. High bull, same thing. It's If I go through that, I know they're going to go all the way up to the previous day's high. And we also have a lower high of the day now that they went down and put a low in place and rolled over and traded back and made a new low. So there's our current lower Asian high of the day. You can see we're still trading inside of that high and the low. They went down and made a W rate at the Europe Open. And we had that lower high. I call that low hanging fruit on the shorter time frame. That's traders who get caught down low. That's easy pickings for an explosive move back up. But I just redraw the high and the low. I want to know where my main bigger box is if I'm inside that in the new day, but obviously the new day high and low, especially at this session timings, I want to be trading at the low or as we saw on the NASDAQ at the high and without fail, uh, we'll just take a look at the one minute chart. Without fail, pretty much to the minute, the chart time 7.30 candle, which is uh, basically 12.30 New York time, 12.30 a.m. New York time. There's the algo kicking in and bang, they go right back up vertical through those highs of the day. Second 15-minute bar opens, bang, pulls back engulfment and falls back into the higher level long. So these markets uh, are clockwork to timing, but just talking about highs and lows of the day, if you're not sure, just put a blank chart up there, mark them off, doesn't matter what time frame you're on you can see everything on a one minute mark off your high mark off your your low they traded back down they made a new low of the day they traded back into it right at the timing window they make the W lower high they go straight through that back up through the high of the day now we have obviously a new high of the day if they fail inside that upper portion then obviously that could form a peak formation and locking in the high of the day currently they went up there and they've just stopped but uh, with these markets, I'll acknowledge that when the U.S. session opens because typically they will violate one of these again because we know there are stops up there. They'll trigger breakout traders. Uh, but timing is everything. Uh, we'll see what happens in the gap time and then when we head into the U.S. session. 
So keep it simple, traders. Hopefully you got value out of that. Just uh, put a blank chart up and mark up the real high and low. Then we know our inside high and low. And if you're inside, you're inside. You can expect that there could be movement to those outside highs and lows because you're inside of a bigger box. If they break out, then you redraw the new high and low of the day. Keep Hi, it traders. It's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis, and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7-Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets, and this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.